and the series of learning programming in C. We are discussing the programs of printing pattern in C, right? Now, in this video, we will talk about how to write a program to print this pattern. This is what half pyramid of numbers. We have discussed a program to print half pyramid of star and inverted half pyramid of star. Please check out those, those videos first, then come to this video, right? I will put the, uh, that uh, link of those videos, that playlist name printing pattern in C, that playlist link in the description box of this video, you can go and check out, right? Now see, first of all, I will discuss the logic on this board and then what we used to do, I will show you the output on that ID on VS code, right? Now see, here obviously two loops were required, one is to print lines, number of lines or number of rows and second loop is for number of columns or the actual values we are printing in the columns, that thing, right? So outer for loop is for number of lines, how many lines? Six lines are there, so outer for loop should run six times, right? So I am going to just, I am just going to write the logic here, simple, not the complete program, the complete pro program I will show you on uh, my editor, on my laptop, right? We will run the, this properly. So that it should run up to 6, I less than equal to 6 because I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines, right? And I plus plus, this is what outer loop. Now, actual printing would be done in inner loop. Now, here what you will write, see, this is what, I suppose I value is 1, means I value is 2, second line, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. When I value is 6, the 6th line would be printed. Now, I value is 7, no line would be printed, that means loop should be ended, right? Now, actual printing would be done in inner loop, J loop. So now, when I value is 1, J should be repeated only one time and what it should print? The value 1, not star. J would repeat only one time, right? When I value is 2, J should repeat 1 and 2, 2 times, 2 columns. In this row, 2 columns I want to print and column would be taken care by this J variable. So J should run 2 times but not star, it would print some value. Now I value is 3, J should run 3 times. When I value is 4, J should run 4 times, 5 times and 6 times, right? Now J value is what? It's not that fix. J is what? It's changing. At first time, only one time J should run in first line, second time it should run two times and then like this, right? Now. J would be like what? I am going to start J with 1, right? And how many times J should run? J should be less than equal to, we cannot write down any fixed value here because J value is changing, right? But when I 1, J would be repeating 1 time. When I is 2, J should be repeated 2 times. When I is 3, J should be repeated 3 times. I hope you are going to be able to relate this thing, right? So now J should be less than equal to what? I, that's it, and what J plus plus, and within this, what you will print now? We are not going to print star. We are going to print value. Value of what? Value of J, right? C percentage D, and I am going to print whatever value of J that should be printed, right? As you can see, because one time it should be printed, value should be that is one. It would repeat two times. So, first time value would be 1, then 2, it should repeat 3 times, then 1, 2, 3. So, that is why I am printing J here, right? Now, in outer loop, what? Simply slash n, because what, how many slash n we require? 6 slash n, and that's it. Now, please run this program. I value is at starting 1, 1 is less than equal to 6, condition true, we are going to enter here. J value is 1, 1 is less than equal to I, I value is also 1, condition true, 1 is equal to 1. Right? So, we are going to enter here. Now, what it will print? Value of J. Value of J is what? 1. So, it 1 would be printed. Now, J plus plus. J becomes 2. Is 2 less than equal to I? 2 less than equal to 1? No. Condition is not true. So, we are going to exit from the center loop and slash n. So, control will go, cursor will go in the next line. Now, I plus plus. I becomes 2. 2 is less than equal to 6. We are going to enter here. Now, J is again initialized with 1. J is equal to 1. Is 1 less than equal to i? i value is 2. Yes, condition true. We are going to again enter here. Now, j value would be printed. j value is 1. 1 would be printed here. Now, j plus plus j becomes 2. Condition true? 
टू इज लेस एन इक्वल टू टू ये कंडीशन ट्रू वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू एंटर हेयर जे वैल्यू वुड बी प्रिंट जे वैल्यू इज वॉट टू सो नाउ टू वुड बी प्रिंटेड आई होप यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट नाउ जे प्लस प्लस जे इज थ्री बट नाउ कंडीशन इज नॉट ट्रू थ्री इज नॉट लेस एन इक्वल टू आई आई इज टू राइट सो आउट फ्रॉम द स्लूप स्लैश एन नाउ कर्सर वुड गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट लाइन नाउ आई प्लस प्लस आई बिकम्स थ्री कंडीशन इज स्टिल ट्रू अगेन एंटर हेयर जे वैल्यू वुड बी अगेन इनिशलाइज विद वन राइट now i hope you can dry run this program now 1 2 3 would be printed here and like this 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 would be printed now at one time j i value now becomes after that 4 then 5 then 6 once i value becomes 7 7 is not less than equal to 6 we are going to exit from the loop that is the output now see this is what hard coding we are going to run this up to 6 time now suppose One when when user run at one time, I want to print this pattern. Now when user enter uh, user run second time the program. Now I want to print up to ten ten lines. Next time I want to print fifteen lines. So that should not be a case. That should not be a hard coding. I want what at the run time it should ask from the user enter number of rows you want to print, right? So for what you can do, you can simply take like here I am taking two variable i and j, one more variable I can take number of rows, right? And at run time you can ask from the user like print f, enter number of rows you want to print. And how you will take the input using scan f at run time percentage d address of in which variable i want to store the value rows right now when you run this it will ask enter number of rows you want to print and number of rows suppose you are entering number of rows 10 so now up to 10 lines should be printed so we cannot write down here less than equal to 6 10 line means less than equal to 10 obviously but next time it should be 15 so we cannot write down here 10 or 15 that constant what you can write down the variable in which you are taking the value i less than equal to rows that's it and i plus plus and that as it now when you will run this you can print 10 lines 15 lines 20 lines up to you right so now i'll show you this the, uh, the you know the output of this program on my laptop now so now let me create a new file here let me name this pattern 3.c right And uh, we'll write now void main. And now I'm going to take two variable for two loops. I'm going to use what two loops, right? I is equal to one. I less than equal to five, and uh, I plus plus, right? And uh, sorry, it's I plus plus, not just plus plus. Fine. Now in this one more for loop that is j j is equal to one semicolon j less than equal to i, right? And uh, j plus plus. Now within this inner for loop, what we are going to do? We are going to print what? Not start. Now we are going to print what? Some number that is value of J so percentage D J is integer and J right and in after for loop what we will print slash n right and that's it now let me run this program it is going to take some time now see uh, yeah it's running see the output one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five. now if you don't want you know this hard coding like i is less than equal to 5 now next time when i want to run i want to print till 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 lines or 15 line 20 line so i want that user should enter number of lines number of rows so what you can do we can take another variable uh, suppose any variable abc name can be anything i'm taking rows and i can ask the value from the user at run time right and how we used to take input using scanf function 
percentage D and uh, here we are going to pass what address of the name of the variable is rows right and uh, what I think that is it. Now, here I do not want to say it is 5, I want to run this loop till rows, i should be less than equal to rows right that is it. Now, let me run this program for you and first of all it will ask for enter number of rows or enter number of lines you want in your program right you want to print right. So, yeah it is taking some time now see enter number of rows now let me enter suppose uh, 10 rows and see the output it is printing up to 10. Now, again if you want to run and you want uh, suppose 7 rows or 15 rows 20 rows then easily you can enter because I this time we are taking input at front time right. Now, it will ask enter number of rows see enter number of rows and I am suppose uh, entering 10 uh, sorry 15 rows. So, that is what up to 15 it is going to print right. So, I hope you got it. Now, next is I think you can print that inverted uh, uh, that um, pyramid. Now, I hope you got the program how to print this type of pattern. Now, for you one assignment is you have to print inverted that half pyramid of these number like this you have to print. Now, these are two assignment for you you have to print first of all this pattern right so inverted half pyramid of number and second one is this one a little bit we, I have changed. I think if you have got how to print this pattern very carefully then you have to change the logic a little bit please think over it and you have to print these things this is assignment for you and you can send me you can either uh, you can uh, copy paste your code in the comment box or you can send me the message on my Instagram account right. So, now in the next video we are going to discuss you know some more printing pattern programs some complicated ones. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.